traffic. That would be that would be the bigger news story right now. But at any rate, uh, if you guys are local and you're saying, Stu, what about the alter alternatives? Well, uh, looking at Burbank right now, that was a that was a good alternative for a little bit. It is not anymore. Looking uh, out the back of it, I'm looking at Ventura Boulevard. Ventura Boulevard, not a good bet, not a good bet either. So. Uh, every all the uh, all the streets that would parallel or you could take as an alternative probably not going to uh, not going to work work well at all. Vicky, Vicky's up. Yep, they're moving in again. Here we go. Now let's see. Let's see. Maybe they're just trying to get a closer look. Maybe they're going to bring this thing to an end. Vicky was talking about Pepper Balls, uh, that uh, running joke uh, that uh, they named one of the their dogs Pepper Balls, but they didn't. Uh, so the the officers that you see right there, the one with the uh, with the shotgun looking thing, anytime they're any kind of bright color like that, that is less than lethal. Uh, so that's probably like a 40 round uh, rubber bullet type of situation. And you can see how close they're getting. This is just a defiant driver. That's basically what's going on right there. Just the guy that's basically, what exit is this near? This is right past with uh, the uh, 101, just west of the 101 freeway, right before Havenhurst is where it is, if you guys are local. <clears throat> uh, it's past the, yeah, just past the westbound, it's just west of the 405. Look at these officers, they're getting really, really close. They must have information that this person does not have a gun. That's the only thing I can say, that uh, if they're getting that close, uh, they, they, this person probably does not have a gun. And uh, and we did see we did see a move, right? I saw I saw arms. Yeah. So you know that's the other side. I was just kind of hoping that uh, you know maybe he, he he didn't have some sort of issue or something. Uh, it definitely they they definitely are communicating with this guy. So right now, they're uh, you, you can see it. They they want to open up that freeway. I can tell you, as soon as this thing is done, as soon as that guy is in cuffs, they, they will they will open up that uh, at least a couple of lanes out here. That is for sure. I'm reading Tamara's thing here. She was talking about the water. It just shot by really, really quick. I'm sorry, Tamara. I, I, I didn't get the gist of what you were what you were asking about. Encino area, yes, that's basically the area where it is. Uh, it, it is on the 101 freeway. Uh, if you guys are local, this is one of those things that uh, I'm sure a lot of people talk about. It's uh, They say 101 westbound, 101 eastbound, but it's actually north and south, but you really are east and west if you're in the valley, but uh, this would be the northbound portion, and, but the realistically you're going west, so that that's what's going on right there. Yeah, and people are going back and forth about what's going on. It is true. I, I don't think this that person is, he is basically just uh, being defiant, uh, not getting out of the vehicle type of situation and creating a huge problem for, I would venture to say thousands, plural, thousands of people this afternoon. Uh, that's that's how busy these freeways are out here, especially the 101. Uh, what did he do? He uh, pulled over and refused to come out of the car. That's what. That's basically what's going on right there. Uh, he's, he just doesn't want to get out of the car. These officers keep walking up, looking inside, and then backing off. So uh, I just got to wonder, you know, what's going on down there. I, I have the scanner up. Uh, I am listening to one of their radios. But uh, clearly, you know, what's going on right there, they don't need to, to talk to. The, you know, the, the information is being passed to those guys that are right there. So we're going to keep an ear on it. We'll see what's going on. Hopefully they're going to get this person out safely. Now I'm all, now I'm, now I'm getting a little concerned. Maybe this, uh, maybe that uh, suspect harmed himself. I, I really hope that isn't the case. Uh, we did see him moving around just moments ago, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Grace said the same thing, right as I kind of said it. So we'll keep an eye on it. We're uh, going to keep uh, keep looking, trying to figure out what's going on. But uh, right now. I'm just uh, I'm looking at that one, huh? I don't know if they would have done if that would have happened. They would have they would have moved in quicker. Yeah, there would have been there would have been a, a, a loud shots fired something like that. I don't know. Maybe he's just uh, they're they're gonna they're going in. I, I saw that motion. That is the universal sign for break a window. There we go. They're breaking more windows right there. No, I want to stay on this side. Stay on this side. Definitely stay on this side. 
I doubt it. I doubt it. They're they're looking inside to see what's going on with this guy. Yeah. So. It, Kevin, with if if that would have happened, we would have heard we would have heard about that, and we saw him moving just a few moments ago. Yeah, they're shooting pepper balls in there right now. That doesn't mean that he isn't unconscious or anything. Okay, so Vinny, sa Vinny says in his shot he can actually see a movement inside the car. So he's uh, he's still conscious, he's still uh, defiant, and he's still refusing to come out. I, I'm seeing it too. I'm seeing a little bit of motion right there. Yeah, he's very agitated, very agitated. I wish he would be agitated outside of the vehicle. So at any rate, uh, it looks like uh, these... Yeah. Yep, so I'm getting confirmation that he's jumping around in there. No, nope, no, nope, stay here, stay here, stay here. Because they're going to pull him out the passenger side, but eventually we'll, we'll get to see him. And, and they're, they're pulling him out the passenger side. There we go. There we go. And officers are helping. The yeah, suspects being contacted now is exactly what they were just saying. They're helping that. Uh, why? Why? Okay. Um, at any rate, so the uh, suspect now in custody, and uh, you can see those officers are going to be handcuffing him. I, I can tell you, as soon as they are able, they're going to start opening up some of these lanes right there, and and uh, just that uh, bizarre, defiant attitude of, you know, I don't really care if all the lanes are closed, and this and that, I'm just not getting out of the truck. <coughs> He's coming up. There's other officers are making sure that uh, what's going on right there, they just want to make sure that uh, there is nobody else in the car, and there isn't. Thank goodness there isn't a, a child or something. Yeah, Liz, you know what? They, they said that in the beginning. I'm not going to use that terminology. Uh, but then they also were saying other words along the lines of inebriated, possibly intoxicated, uh, things like that. But in the end, uh, they just... Uh, they just took that guy into custody, pulled him out of that vehicle. Yeah, and it looks like they're hog tying him. They're gonna, they're gonna, uh, what's that called? Uh, uh, what is it? No, it's restraint, there's, hang on. <laughs> they're already calling a tow truck. I'm serious, that was just the call that they were on there. They're like, they're calling a tow truck for the, uh, for the vehicle. Hobble, hobble's the word that I was thinking about. They're putting a hobble on, they, I couldn't think of it. Uh, the uh, fire department is there, Vinny, and the uh, ambulance has moved closer. I am sure that uh, this, uh, this young man is going to uh, have to be uh, looked after and brought to a hospital, and not for many injuries. He's probably trying to figure out what, uh, oh yeah, what, what's going 